today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. one and off we go from Tampa and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now, but how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff arm father time the way that he has. Begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They keep it on the ground. White again. And taken down just shy of the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. the ground this is Leonard Fournette and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45 and it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four yard pickup brings it to third down in today's NFL you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays a toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline that's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later how about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up.
And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. There's a lot about that play you could easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even given up a defensive touchdown. On second and ten, Jones. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Well, they were obviously backed up. Had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still trying to throw it. And yeah, exactly. If this is where hindsight is 20-20 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise them and catch them off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover and put your defense in a bad spot. Quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Fournette is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Suck up on for the point after. And that one gives the Bucks a 7 to nothing lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. team on the field now as they will send this one away this one fielded at the five and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line so the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive they threw an interception the first time they had the football wound up leading to a touchdown the other way how do you approach drive number two Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. The goal for any offense versus a zone defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A good gain on first. Has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Oh, 
there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Jones. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Throwing Jones. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 41-yard line. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Back to throw. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. Looking for Shepard deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, the coverage there airtight as he comes away with the interception. Love that observation there because they were taking a shot at the end zone. But you're right about the coverage. Absolutely tremendous. And this they could clip for a training tape. Staying with him down the field, locates the football in the air, and comes away with the interception. The Bucs ready to take over once again. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Brady going to bring the Bucs up with a 1st and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, 
he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. On first and 10, here's Brady. And this one, the ball comes out, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Second and nine, Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Throwing on first down. Jones over the middle, caught by Bellinger. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. James has got it, complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Second and five. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. 30, 20, and the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. I love plays like that. Defensive lineman holding the football. It's like a, a kid who stole a cookie from the cookie jar, and then he's just fleeing the scene of the crime. And all he's doing in his mind, reliving his days when he was young, probably played fullback on his high school team, always wanted to be the tailback carrying the ball, trying his best to lug that bad boy the distance. Pretty impressive pick there off the screen, and then a nice return. You know, nowadays, they do more ball drills with the big guys than ever before because they want to take possessions away from the offense. Wait, 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. So after the INT, it's Brady. Going right side here, and that's complete. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. To throw, it's Brady. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, box. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Buccaneers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point try now for Sacco. And it's good to make it 14-0. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air taking it about the one and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Giants now going to take over late in this first half and Charles you're down multiple scores less than a minute left here but with that deficit they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive and I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I want to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric they've got a long way to go and a short time to get there but they still have time to get it done so I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw to Shepard, complete over the middle. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Looking to throw, Jones to Barkley on the check down. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Jones. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch them close to the spot. Four yards remain for second down. They'll look to throw again. Pass to Bellinger on the crossing route. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. 
22 yards there, a first down. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. And that first half was nothing short of a disaster. Zero points on the scoreboard in a big three in the INT column. So they've got to get him going, obviously, right? So you've got to get him in rhythm. And we always think of short passes. I think of jet sweeps where they just kind of toss the ball forward. You know, that counts as a forward pass. And then you can say to him, look at that. You completed three, four, five in a row. Now you've got to get your confidence going. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw, Jones. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Evans has it left side. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Brady to gauge for a Tampa first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. 
but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Brady now on first down. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. To throw is Brady. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's Fournette. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Brady to throw on third and one. Well, this one taken in by Otten. And he is going to have a box first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That's a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. That's on Shaq Mason, the guard. up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. The second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Here's Brady to throw. Here's White. They set up the screen. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Brady gives this to White. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Here's Brady. That is caught at the seven-yard line. He'll go down as a gain of six, 
And it makes it third down and two yards to go. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Suck up for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that one along 11 play drive. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air fielded just outside the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line and the Giants ready to come out now and let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll drop the throw. He's got Bellinger. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, I could put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. It's hauled in by Shepard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. He finds his man complete. It's James. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 
Jones throw on target to Shepard. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. From the 13 now, they work on first and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Big Vita Vea pushing his way through to wind up with a sack. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Well, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay? So when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they've got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player putting stats in every column. A gain of eight there on the play. And now third down and six to go. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. Flushed out right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Giants are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone, and his confidence was rewarded. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. Oh, were the Giants able to recover? Yes! Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game.
They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Here's Jones. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations and you often get tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. To throw is Jones. That's caught by Galladay. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there. But no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.